Hi, this is Ron Mitchie playing the Hunter Call of Wild on PC. We're continuing our adventure on Parque Fernando, the South American Reserve. Absolutely stunning. We've got a lake right in front of us. It's a really big lake and lots of sort of surrounding meadows that go up to the lake. And there's lots of animals around it. There's red deer, there's axis deer, you name it, deer, deer. So that's where we're going to head down to. Hopefully get either a trophy black buck or a trophy axis deer. An axis deer would be nice, I haven't seen one of those up yet. Not a big one anyway. So we're heading through the loopings all the way down to the lake. I was gonna continue with the storyline for this one, but I thought, you know what? Have a little break from it and just do some hunting. That's a good thing about this. You can do the narrative storyline or you can just go and hunt for whatever you want to hunt. So Ron's gonna try that this time. We're just gonna run down this um, dried out water bed uh, old river. I'm going to run down here and it heads straight to the lake. I will show you on the map in a minute when I get closer whereabouts exactly we are. You go from the lodge where we've been doing the missions and it's just straight down the hill. It can't get any simpler and this lake is brilliant. The amount of animals around it is unreal. We could have drove down on the ATV but I didn't want to scare the surrounding animals. I want them to all be calm because when Ron breaks over this little bit of ground in front of us and just crosses over part of the lake, you'll see why. There's always resting animals about um, midday and often around the lake. So the last thing you want to do is scare them all off before we get a chance to see them. Often as you just clear this bit in front of me, you will see animals. So that's what I'm hoping now. I'm going to come down and just see what we can see. I've got the 243 and I've got the 7mm. 7mm in case we see uh, some bigger animals and the 243 for the smaller deer. By the time you've seen this video, what has been your favourite thing you've seen up here on the reserve or you've hunted yourself? What has been your favourite species? We'll look forward over here. Drop it in the comments. We've got some red deer. They look like they're resting grazing male, a couple of reasonable males, quite a few females, that's not what we're after, I don't really want red deer, unless it's an absolute monster, but we had a legendary uh, red deer in one of the other episodes, so check that out, so I want to try and get something new for this episode, something different, hopefully a rare something, or a trophy animal, if it's something we've already had and it's a trophy, I'm still going to take it anyway, but I'm just hoping for something different. Right, we're just going to cut across this water here because all around this lake there's animals. You also get the ducks on here, the cinnamon teals. We're going to have to do an episode on those soon. Looking forward to shooting those. There is uh, new decoys for the cinnamon teals. I will show you those when we hunt them. Quite a lot of uh, new little things in the content has been added, so lots of great things. Archery range. Uh, new skins, I believe, for guns. New decoys, lots of new things, lots of new content, new animals. So lots to look at and go after. So lots to keep us interested while we're looking around. Now, come on, Axis deer. A nice trophy Axis deer, or a rear Axis deer, or a big trophy black buck. A not bad red deer, but I can see some black bucks. Over there, some females and males. Just seeing if I can see a decent trophy one. The red deer's got up though, the male. Hopefully he doesn't spook. It looks like there's a grazing group of uh, black bucks right in front of me. So I'm gonna try and creep up. Hopefully the red deer doesn't spook and then gallop towards those or make them all run off. Because we might be able to pick something decent out of the group if there's a decent group there. I can only see about five or six at the minute, so we're just gonna creep up and try and get a visual on what's there. If you're wondering what that is on the right, uh, just over two kilometers away, it's another mission we've got to do. We'll be doing that soon. But at the minute we're just hunting. Let's see what we can get. All right, hopefully we can get a look at this group as we get through here without spooking everything. Sometimes you just do everything right and still speak stuff, so you just never know. Can we see him here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's probably about 10 or 12, what I can see up to yet. So there might be more. Sometimes you see groups, like we did with the red deer, like 20, 25. 
That is not very nice where that is positioned. Look where that is. Exactly in my eye line of where the group is. That's a bit awkward. I should really turn it off. I'm hoping we can get to where that sign is and uh, they haven't scarpered. And it shouldn't be in a way. I do normally turn everything off, but because I'm videoing, I just want to show some of the zones, some of the things, uh, the icons. I am leaving them on, but normally if I'm not recording, I'll turn everything off. I don't like things on screen, uh, no outlines, anything. I like to hunt natural, uh, nothing in my way, nothing to distract me. I have suggested a few times to the devs and certain people that it would be great if we could turn everything off the screen that clutters it off. So no either spotting, nothing, just what you see is there. I think that would add a certain realism to it and it adds to the beauty as well. The game is very pretty anyway. There's quite a lot there. I spotted one that looks pretty decent. I think I just seen something white. I'm not sure. I thought I just seen something white there for a flash. There there. Alright, here it goes. Let's get this before we can go to that site. And I think we've nailed that. Now that looks like an albino one. I'm not sure. I only seen it last second. I didn't want it to go over the hill. Because I know it would be hard to approach this whole group. But I think we maybe got an albino or some other variation. I never know what uh, different colour variations they add to certain animals. Some look like albinos in the call or the names. So we'll soon see. Here's the best zone. But there was a lot of uh, deer here. Some red deer, but mainly black books, male and female. And here we go, it is white, lots of blood. What is it? It is, what's it gonna be? Let's take a screenshot for a bit. Trophy shot, there's the thumbnail shot. Right, there's the thumbnail done. Right, what's it gonna be? Let's collect it. No, we don't want the track. <laughs> Drum roll. It is a male leucistic black book. Scores 851 gold. That's very nice. So a nice rare for run there. Didn't expect that. Really happy. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've been after trophy access there or trophy black book Ron ended with a nice black book leucistic rare so what can you say about that please subscribe to my youtube channels check out our next episode where we'll be back on the missions hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching bye bye